the things that enjoy his family. Yeah. Uh, Frank, before we move on from, from Tyson, I'm sure you've seen this over the last 24 hours with, with the Irish press re- reporting that he's been denied access to America. First, first and foremost, um, have you seen that story and is there any truth to it? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's what I read is that he, he went, correct me if I'm wrong, he went to an airport and uh, was refused to get on. I mean, as far as I understand, he didn't go to any airport yesterday and he was at, he was in Liverpool mm-hmm. for his cousin fight. Um, that's it. I haven't spoken to him today. So, uh, I, you know, I, 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 that's, that's news to me. Okay. Um, you, you've uh, announced the fight this week. So we just heard there from your mans, Frank, the fishy one, fishy, lishy sounding ass, looking ass dude, Warren. In fact, before we get to that, let me say a big shout out to the man who has returned, Devil Dog 83. Yeah, the former number one coin boosting general who has been displaced by, <laughs> you best believe it, Mr. Resolution himself. Yeah, Mr. Camera Booster Alex O, but nonetheless, what we do 100%, your man know I'll be operation. It's stay thankful at all times, all coins. Salute to Devil Dark, 100%. No doubt. May, may Devil Dark continue to prosper. No doubt about it. That's what we do hope for. Anywho, let's crack on to today's topic. Like I said a second ago, we just heard dare from Mr. Fish Eyes Warren breaking his silence on Team Fury's behalf on the current situation regarding his, what should we say, his alleged legal troubles with the US federal authorities. Now, Fish Eyes playing a blinder here. Now, don't forget, people, Fish Eyes, aka Bricktop, he, he well schooled. Yeah, he deny everything. I told you before. The other day when, or a few weeks ago, when Bob Arum started squealing, oh yeah, Dan's been touching me and Dan's been pressuring me. What did Frank say? Frank said, listen, I don't know nothing about, nothing. I don't know nothing about the kids. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know nothing about the Dan Kinahan's henchman watching my kids at school and sending me photos of them. That's what Frank said. Yeah, me and my Bob was saying, oh yeah. Oh, Dan confessed his open heart to me and Dan told me about all the criminal things he's been doing and how he feels so guilty. Frank said, listen, I don't know nothing. Yeah. I don't I don't know anything about the, the <laughs> I don't know anything about the seven six foot six buff Donnies that was posted outside my daughter's school. Nothing about it, no. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I definitely didn't see them two big buff dudes. Hundred <laughs> percent Anyway, listen. As I said, Frank is well schooled. Yeah, he ain't no he ain't gonna be doing no snitching. I told you before, for the new cats who have come into boxing, Frank allegedly he didn't pay some boxes back in the nineties. I don't know about how real that is. All we do know is Frank got shot was it where was it in the face? I'm not sure. Either way he got shot somewhere and he ain't say a word. Yeah, and where he got shot he got I'm pretty sure it was face on. So he saw it all. He knew exactly who it was. He held it down. Yeah, they don't call him brick top for nothing. Why am I telling you all this? Like I said, if Tyson Fury was going or is going through anything, Frank, not only is he what we call a hundred, he gonna keep it a trilly the whole way through, but also him and Tyson Fury are financially tied in. Yeah? They're financially locked in nicely. So Frank ain't gonna wanna rock the boat at any level. Yeah? So he doing the typical lawyer speak, oh I don't know anything and this at the other now to be fair to Frank he did say he did bring up some some casual what would you call it he did bring up some some of the things I mentioned some circumstantial evidence against Nicola Talent's allegations Nicola Talent is the chick who has the hard on for Kinahan and the lob on for now Fury as well anything to do with Kinahan Nicola Talent as I said the other day, she got engorged, raging lob on for for these for these uh, Irish criminal cats. Yeah, she the one who wrote the story. Now Frank, he said Tyson Fury was watching Nathan Gorman fight, so he couldn't have been there. Now I've actually got some interesting. I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to give you man the leak today, but I've actually got some inf- in, uh, interesting information coming up in the next probably few days. Which is not, it's looking like these allegations made by Nicola Talent may have more, what's the word? They may have more, more credence, yeah? 
more likelihood of being real than I first expected at first glance. A lot of the circumstantial evidence was pointing that she was gassed. She was too. She got. She had what we call pre-nut. Pre-nut. Um, it's an end of the day. She was. Com- it, it was implying she ain't got a clue what she's talking about. Yeah. She couldn't. She hadn't nut yet. So her head was all foggy. Yeah. We got post-nut clarity and pre-nut fogginess. She still got pre-nut. She's engorged. Don't get me wrong. Hundred percent. Yeah. Nicola Talent. <laughs> you best believe she got. A r- it's, it's chicks like Nicola Talent, yeah. They're the ones where the saying comes from, yeah. The, for example, with law enforcement, people often say the police have got a hard on for me, yeah. yeah. Nicola Talent, she know about all that when it comes to the Kennehans. But like I said, at first glance, it was looking like she was just woofing and way too caught up in her life, yeah. What's that saying? Hammers and nails. At first glance, it appeared that. She just wanted to be a hammer and nail some more things rather than actually tell the truth. But now, yeah, again, I hate to be one of them ones, but I have to save the leak. That said, Frank, he ain't, he, he, he was never going to come on and say, yeah, Fury tried to leave the country. And he got, he got holed up, yeah. And also, I find it interesting, Tyson Fury, normally with allegations... Well, for example, when it was told, when Michael Benson put an article out saying he was coming back from retirement and he was thinking of signing some deal to fight Anthony Johnston, guess what? Tyson Fury comes out and shuts it all down. He'd been hella silent on this one, hasn't he? Now, you could say, oh, why be he didn't see it? This was massive news, relatively speaking. This was massive news. There's no way he ain't seen this one. So it's kind of like, I don't know, why would you, if you haven't been to an airport and been punked, why wouldn't you just put a quick post out saying these guys are gassed, yeah? Nicola Talent's got a hard on for me and Dan. He ain't do that. He ignore it. Now I'm sure some Fury fans will say, or some Fury hardcores will say, oh no no, but um, I'm not even sure how you'd explain it. Oh, he's above that. Well, he wasn't above the rumours that he was making a comeback. Oops. And that's the thing I don't get. Fury, he he sees most things, so it begs the question: if he saw this, why hasn't he? completely shut it down yeah or is it as fury fans will be saying oh he's above that he doesn't need to it's obviously bullshit i don't know it's looking it's looking kind of fishy lishy lishy right now yeah now again frank says he don't know nothing about it and he ain't spoke to him but then in the next breath he said what was it um talking to so frank just said there yeah i haven't spoke to fury and i don't know anything about it but then, later on in the interview, he's saying that, yeah, Bob Arum's spoken to Fury and this, that, the other. So it's kind of like, I find it hard to believe that Frank basically admits to have spoken to Tyson, but they didn't discuss this topic. How likely is that? Now, again, I understand he's, he doesn't, Tyson Fury and Team Fury don't owe the public nothing. Yeah, obviously, if I was part of Team Fury... Apart from obviously my sources who are deep in the camp, but <laughs> if I was an if, if you man know I be was an official part of Team Fury, yeah, I'd be saying the same thing. Haven't spoke to him, ain't got a clue. But thinking deeper into it, do you really think that they haven't spoken about this? Just think about your own family now, yeah, or think about your own co-workers. Imagine a story comes out about one of your co-workers or one of your family members. In it, what would you would you just conveniently for not ask that? Of course, it is. These pe- people are humans. Humans are predictable, yeah. And again, anyone in your own—if you saw a story, yeah, of anyone in your own life, people love gossip. If you heard a story in the newspaper about one of your friends being caught up in an airport, the first thing that come on, the first thing you'd be on the blur about would be what? what what's going on here, boss? Yeah. So, I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't believe it at all. And, and to be honest, yeah, the media, I guess you can say some media would have pulled a bench long. Or well, Frank Warren could have pulled a bench long and said, listen, don't ask me about this. But even so, the media didn't really follow up. Really, when Frank Warren shut it down, in my opinion, the media interview Donnie should have said to him, listen, listen, Frank, yeah, is there any weight? To these allegations. Nicola Talent says there's 600 dons. 
who have been held up. Have you have you heard anything legally speaking? Or I'm again I'm not an interviewer, but something that I mean pry a little deeper. Yeah, that's what and I've been watching old documentaries from the eighties and seventies, yeah. It's sad to see where the media's come these days. The media today, yeah, they're just like Instagram cats. They're people like the YB who just here just to add commentary. They ain't really back in the eighties and seventies, yeah, or even before that, journalists actually used to be creating real stories, finding real leaks. These times, it's like, if it's not on Instagram, they ain't trying to do no digging, and it? It's bare, bare bones, basic, and listen, I haven't got, if someone was paying me to investigate, it'd be different, but these cats today, just, I don't know, they ain't real, they, the real media don't really exist, does it? They're just a bunch of jobbers these days, who sit there commentating, that's really what it is, and yeah, I do that, but again, I'm not on the payroll. Where's all the investigative journalists gone? Once a blue moon we get a BBC Panorama documentary that's all watered down. And even then they cover up all their own shit, don't they? With Jimmy and whatnot. So it's kind of like, who doing any real thing? And when you watch the old, I'm not saying the thing is as well, back in the 70s, even back then people would say the media's crap. It's like, wow. We'd die now for a media who had any kind of level of investigative skills. Compared to what they have now, dead ass dudes. Anyway, man, listen. In their day, time will tell. But what I will say is, you best stay locked in for this update that's coming in the next few days. Because looking at the peak for Team Fury, that's what it is looking. It's looking like the things I've seen, the documents I've seen. Yeah, it's looking like he really can't leave the country. That's what I'm going to say on that one. Yeah. Again, I'll say it one more time. The documents I've seen have led me to believe Tyson Fury can't leave the UK, or oh, sorry, can't, not, no sorry, he can't leave the UK, because we saw him in France, or wherever it was, he can't go to the US, and I find it weird, because before these allegations, again, more circumstantial evidence here, before these allegations were made, or before this Fed thing came down, and this whole thing about coming to the US was put out there, yeah, Fury was pretty much living in the US as well, don't forget that people, he bought a big mansion out there, he was almost living out there. We'd actually rarely see him in the UK. Now, some people, I'm sure Fury fans will say, oh, no, it's because he's retired now and he's back home. Possibly. I remember him saying at the time, oh, I've been away for seven months or whatever. So is it possible that, and that's another thing, that kind of leads into the other narrative, which is that Fury retired because of this. Fury knows he can't fight in the US no more. Even though really there's no big US fights, but still, he can't fight in the US no more. And he can't potentially train with Sugar Hill, although Sugar Hill would come to the UK. But still, again, you know what I mean? Either way you look at it, retirement, if Fury can't go to the US, yeah, retirement makes exponentially more sense. Because that whole US option is just off, off bars now, isn't it? If that's potentially the case. Yeah, and as I said, he just bought a house. Why would you buy a house in Miami? And we ain't really seen him back there for months, if not a year. And before, after every fight or whatever, he'd be straight out there. That's what you do. I mean, my, it haven't been funny yet. I haven't been Miami, but I've been similar places. And when you're used to living in the UK and it's dead raining and all that other stuff, you go to Miami or to LA or whatever, it's a different type of living out there, yeah? People, it, it sucks you in. Why do you think Fury's bought a mansion there, not a mansion nowhere else? I've never heard of Fury buying a mansion in France, for example. Oops. And yet he hasn't been back. Now the real test for me will be. Because another, another built in argument is. Oh well why be. You know. Uh, Fury wants to be with the kids. Fair. By the end of summer. Because obviously kids go on school holiday in a few weeks time. But by the end of summer yeah. If Fury hasn't. Gone away to Miami. That for me I'll, I'll call it at that point. Game set and match. He's stuck in the. Or he can't go to the US. Because there's no way this holiday's. He won't be travelling to Miami if he can, in my opinion. Yeah? And it's a shame, really, that Fury just can't come out and say it. I mean, listen, if he's innocent, he should really be put in a public, um, a public, what do you call it, a public campaign out there to say, listen, I've been, the feds have shut me down and I'm completely innocent. Yeah? I'm a, I'm a what do they call it? I'm a wrongfully convicted man. 
Yeah, Uncle Sam hasn't given me my day in court. Where's my day in court at? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, because as as of now, Fury hasn't been found guilty of anything. But so really, how can you ban someone from coming in who ain't been found guilty of no crime? Oops, but that's Uncle Sam. Yeah, Un- all, Uncle Sam don't ask no questions. Uncle Sam spit on his hand and put in that's the end of that. Yeah, give you the good bit of spit and pop from the back. That's it. <laughs> Uncle Sam don't ask questions. He pop. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he does. Uncle Sam ain't got questions. He give you a good pop from behind. That's it. Get a good popping. Yeah, hundred percent. You'll be lucky to get popping as well. That's what you'll be lucky to get. Hundred percent. No doubt. But anyway, it's an interesting storyline. I guess it. Well, that's how. Listen, this is why. This is for me. Yeah, it's one of the key reasons I'm getting out of this dead game. Hopefully, boxing's dead, man. Dead ass game. Truth be known, dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fury can't go to the US. Okay, no. Oh, I, I don't even want to talk about it. Truth be known, but oh, why be? You made a 15 minute video. Bills must be paid. 100%. Yeah, no doubt. 100%.